This is the setup for Experiment B, Exercise 4.1. In this activity, we are going to use something called dialysis tubing. Dialysis tubing is a synthetic membrane that is used in dialysis machines for patients who have kidney failure. It is a membrane, so it has fine pores that will allow some things in. This selectively permeable membrane is useful for testing for diffusion and osmosis. Now, I've soaked it in water and it's become a nice flexible membrane and we've tied it off on one side with just a simple slip knot. I prefer that over using string or rubber bands. Into this bag, we're going to place both glucose and starch. The directions say four pipettes full. I'm going to use four milliliters. Now for our starch. Note the starch is a little more cloudy, where the glucose is very clear looking. If you recall, these are both carbohydrates. One is a simple sugar, and one is a complex sugar. And if you recall from lab two, that in order to test for the presence of these, we use different reagents. For starch, we can simply use Lugol's iodine. Okay, so both of these are inside the bag. And I'm gonna gently mix them so that the starch and the glucose become one solution. Okay, note the color of the bag. Things, words like opaque and clear should be in your table. Now the color of the bag and the color of the beaker in which we're going to soak this simulated cell need to be recorded in table 4.1 on page 80. To our beaker with distilled water, I'm gonna add that iodine and enough iodine to make it, well, kind of a beautiful amber color. Note the color of the beaker water now. And that's the color you should put in the table 4.1. So note the color of the bag and note the color of the beaker. We're now gonna let these soak and this membrane, if it allows molecules to move through, we can track whether diffusion and osmosis are taking place.